Hey guys, what's up? So I'm going to be doing uh, an unboxing or an unbagging, as you can see. Um, I went to a toy and train show over the weekend. Uh, actually, today I went to one. And I picked up a few different things. Um, got good prices on and stuff like that. And a few things that i just been wanting. And some stuff that I just saw and I thought was really cool. So to start, I'll start unboxing or uh, bagging this one. Uh, these are two uh, custom tanks. Uh, this little piece is broken on top of the little lifting hook, so I got a little cheaper. You see the little eye hook there, which is just supposed to be on that side also where those little white are. But um, that's real easy to fix, and this little glue will fix it right up. It's a nice size. It's actually quite big. You see it to my hands. Huge. Um, really cool looking load for a crane or something like that. I, I might make a base for it and like, use it as a fuel tank or something like that for uh, underground or something like that. Or, it's just It looks really cool, and I thought it's awesome so for the price uh, it was really good um, and they're all custom made and stuff like that and the next thing is just a much drastically smaller tank um, holding tank or whatever these two eye hooks to a little scratched up but it looks kind of cool and has the base which is nice and it stands up on its own so it's really cool too and I think it looks awesome so I got those for a good price about 30 bucks for the two of them, but they're worth, it's definitely worth it because, uh, I mean, they're they're plastic, but they're solid. I mean, they're really, really nice, and uh, they just look awesome. And for, like, a uh, load for a, a crane or whatever, it'll, it'll just look awesome. So next, I'll uh, take out the John Deere 470 uh, GLC. That's a really nice model. It looks it's uh, definitely... I did open them before on like the car ride. Just couldn't wait to see them. Um, but uh, got this one for uh, it says 55 on the box, but I got it for uh, 45, which is a lot cheaper than I can get it online. They go for like 50 bucks, 49 bucks on 3,000 toys, and plus 795 shipping, it you know be over 55 bucks anyway. So I definitely made out on this one. Um, just getting my knife. It is definitely nice looking. I did take out the one uh, string on it to <laughs> test the uh, movement. I think scissors are going to work. So sorry about the weight. So uh, I'm glad everybody liked the uh, new Dio video. You'll be getting the next couple of days pretty soon. I just have to make them. Try not to do too fast, so I don't you know have nothing to do. Uh, uh, back wall kind of fell over there. Damn it! <laughs> I just like to do that. It's easier to focus the video when you when you have that. Uh, open this up. So uh, the. The show I went to was at the uh, Westchester County Center in uh, Lower New York. It's a real nice show. If you're in the area, it's nice if you collect models. They also have a lot of trains and stuff, a lot of Lionel trains. If you're into that stuff, um, definitely something, a very good show to go to. Uh, like 90% of the show is that. If not a little more, 95% of it. The other five is, you know, truck models and stuff like that. And a mixture of vendors and stuff like that. Um... I really only go for the trucks. I'll walk through the other half. I mean, I like trains. I have a few different Lionel sets, but I'm not huge on it, on them as much as other people are. I mean, I don't have a layout just because of the cost of how much it costs to make a layout. Um, simply because, you know, I mean, one, they take up an immense amount of room and the cost to heat them up and stuff like that and make them initially is just outrageous. This is really a pain in the pole. <laughs> Whatever. I'll just pull it out forward. Yeah, that worked. Um, so, looks really nice though. Weird wrapping, like stringy type wrap. But so, I did test the movement. The cylinder, the stick. Unfortunately, I'll zoom in a little for you. Only goes out that far, so it's not an improvement from the uh, 450, because the 450 goes in completely or out completely. So I don't know why they changed that. The bucket is the same. 
goes out that far. Goes in that far. Nothing really different on that. Um, the cylinder just same thing. Not a, a lot of different movements. But I did hear that the depth was changed, and you can see that. That's how much. That's how the depth of the model. How uh, far the boom can go down, which is a lot different from the other one, which only went down to about there. So very nice looking though, and really glad to have picked one up for the price. I'll probably have a review out of this one because I haven't seen too many of them. Um, I haven't seen too many people that actually have this model. So I'll, I'll definitely make a review of it. Uh, that's that one. And then the next one is probably my favorite out of this pile because it's something kind of unique. that um, I only know of one other person that has it on YouTube. Or that I've seen that has it. Um, which is Sal, uh, 328 LCR. And it's the... Uh, Schwig, or Schwing, um, concrete pumper, which is, uh, that's awesome. This is brand new, never opened, um, really nice. Okay, get out the box. It's really tight in the box. I don't, I'm not really honestly sure who made this. It says on the bottom, uh, made by Schwing, or whoever, like, they gave the license to to make it. I think Sal said they were made by Conrad, but I'm not not sure at all. But I did open it to make sure nothing was broken, and uh, it wasn't. And it looks really nice. And the, the packaging reminds me of Conrad, so I'm going to go ahead and say that it's made by them, but don't hold me to it. Um, really nice. You can see I opened it. I need to check it out. I just couldn't wait. Very excited to see it. So that's that. Uh, Really nice pumper. Um, um, ho hopefully, hopefully, um, gonna get a concrete mixer. But that's awesome. Really, really awesome. And uh, well, thanks a lot, guys, for watching. And um, hope the video wasn't too long. Also, uh, check back in for um, the new Dio days. And uh, thanks, thanks to all my subscribers. Um, we're at like 226. That's awesome. Um, I really appreciate it from everybody who subscribes and watches my videos and stuff like that. So thank you all so much. And um, keep checking in for more videos because I'm going to keep up with them now. I, I know you guys like them, so I'll, I'll keep making them. Thanks a lot, guys, and um, have a good one. <laughs>